everyone. If you're new here, welcome to our channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. And today we're going to be doing a patriotic 21 day fix meal prep and I'll be walking you through everything. So basically today is for if you maybe are at a barbecue or maybe you're having a barbecue and you want to try to like figure out what, what options you have and ways that you can kind of make it you know, healthy to work into the 21 day fix lifestyle. So I'm going to be going through what I would be eating in a day for this type of situation for 21 day fix. And usually we have the containers. Um, if you want to go through the containers or understand how that works, I have a couple other 21 day fix videos that you should definitely check out, but I'm going to be going by the same measurements that are used for each container. And then I'll go through everything to show you what we're going to be using and how I'm gonna be putting everything together and I'll show you step by step, so stay tuned. For this meal prep, you can definitely multiply it if you wanna use it across several days or if you want to make it so that way you can have for your family members as well or your friends. I'm gonna be going through and showing you individually what I'll be eating for this day and so I'll show you all the ingredients that I purchased. I got a packet of these thin wheat sandwich buns We'll just be needing one of them for today. We have some sweet gherkin pickles. These are actually zero calories. Full disclosure, sometimes I see them and they have zero calories and sometimes I see them with 35. So I don't know if there was a change that happened there or what, but um, those are the ones that I found. And we'll be using about a third of a cup for these. We have some iceberg lettuce. It's nicely shredded, but you can use any type of iceberg lettuce that you want and or lettuce if you want to replace. And we're just gonna be using about a third cup of that. We have unsweetened coconut flakes and we'll just be using about a teaspoon of that. We have raspberries and blueberries and combined we'll be having a third cup of these berries. We have some yellow mustard and fun fact is that this actually has zero calories and for 21 day fix, you can have as much mustard as you want. So I'm gonna put unlimited on this. A little bit of a sneak. You're not really supposed to have um, this type of ketchup on the 21 day fix. There is a way to make a 21 day fix ketchup. I just don't have um, a set recipe yet for that. So I'm, I just added in um, there's a couple extra calories we'll have left over, so I'm just going to be having about um, like maybe like a tablespoon of the ketchup, which will be 20 calories. Got raspberry walnut dressing. We'll be incorporating one tablespoon of that. We'll be using some stevia. This actually has zero calories, so you don't have to worry about um, like sugar. It's like a sugar replacement, but this is actually a natural sweetener and has a low glycemic index. And Dr. Oz frequently talks about this one. We've got Laura's Lean Beef Burgers. These are 92% uh, lean ground beef. And we're gonna be having one of these. I was trying to find a healthier version of hot dogs because with 21 Day Fix, they really wanna make it so that it's the lowest fat possible. So I'm gonna try out these chicken hot dog, and we're gonna be having one cup worth. We're allowed to have one third cup of cheese and there are approximately five tablespoons within that one third cup. So we're gonna be having three tablespoons of this fat-free cheddar. And then we're gonna be doing two tablespoons of goat cheese. We'll be using one fourth cup of granola. We'll be having one teaspoon of coconut oil. We'll be having one tablespoon of these coconut flakes, and these are unsweetened. We're we'll using pure vanilla extract, and this has no calories. It's one of the free items. And then we'll be using about a third cup of a tomato. For spinach, we'll be using two cups. We'll be doing two thirds cup of strawberries with just a few blueberries included with that. Then last but not least, we'll be having a cup of watermelon. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started on breakfast. All right, so you've got the Chobani plain yogurt, and this is equal to three fourths of a cup. So this is equal to one of the red containers for the protein for the day. I'm first going to take one teaspoon of the stevia and then mix that in. And we're actually going to be taking one teaspoon of, of the pure vanilla extract. So I'll just mix it at the same time. And you just wanna make sure that it's a smooth consistency throughout. 
So with this, you're not adding any additional sugar, but you are sweetening it up and it does taste better. And you can add more vanilla or more stevia if you want to, since they have no extra calories. You can use any type of glass or bowl or whatever you wanna use. I'm just using this glass for today. Okay. Next, we'll be adding in the granola. So that's one fourth of a cup. I like to actually have it sit overnight because then the yogurt kind of seeps into the granola a little bit. It makes it a little bit softer rather than that hard consistency. I like that a lot better, but you can have it just like this or you can have it overnight. And then I'm gonna be adding in the berries. And then lastly, we'll be adding one tablespoon of the coconut flakes. And we're placing that right on top. And we've got a nice red, white, and blue yogurt parfait for either Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day, or just any day of the year that you wanna be patriotic. So that is the start to our day. Next, we'll be setting up a salad. So we'll be starting with two cups of spinach. After that, we're going to have two thirds of a cup of fruit. So I have some blueberries in the one third cup already and we slicing some strawberries to add to it. Then we get to have two tablespoons of the goat cheese. I just like to sprinkle it along. And then we get to have one tablespoon of the raspberry walnut dressing. All right, and our salad is colorful, patriotic, and complete. All right, so now as part of our lunch, we're going to be cutting up one cup worth of this chicken hot dog. Now, normally I would want to have my hot dog on a bun with some relish and some mustard, but bun wise, we're out of carbs for the day because we're planning on having a bun for dinner for our cheeseburger. So we're gonna have to be a little bit creative in the way that we're going to be having our hot dog for lunch. So we're gonna take a teaspoon of coconut oil. and we're gonna be frying up this hot dog. I wanted to get the kind of like pigs in the blanket type feel but without the extra carbs. So this is what I ended up doing. So I have a little container in the middle, which I filled with mustard. You can have as much as you want, as I mentioned before. And if you want, you can even add, if you wanted to make more for a group, you can even add some 
little toothpicks and then it's like a, a good crowd pleaser. Oh gosh, it's just like a hot dog. Perfect. <laughs> on to the dinner portion. So we're gonna be eating burgers on the grill. John's actually gonna be helping me with that. So we'll be having three tablespoons of this cheddar cheese. Once the burgers are ready on the grill, we'll be adding that. And then while we're doing that, I'm actually going to prep out the vegetables. So I'll be slicing up some tomato, we'll have lettuce, and then we'll have some pickles, which can actually be included in the green container. So I'm gonna be slicing up some things now. So I have one cup and I'll be layering. So I'm gonna be putting the iceberg lettuce on the bottom. Now I'll be slicing some tomato to put as the next layer. And then the space that's left, I can have pickles. All right, that about fills up. And then once the burger is done, I'll show you how I'm going to place everything. All right, we've got Grill Master John to help us out with some burgers here. Here we go. <laughs> How long do you think these have to grill for? Maybe like four or five minutes. Only uh, quarter pound burgers. You kind of can tell by the feel of kind of what it feels like when you're pressing on it, or whether or not it's fully cooked. Like the the more cooked it is, the firmer it will be. And doing it that way, but you can absolutely stick a thermometer in here and figure it out. Like depending on how you how you want to do it. 160 is probably fully 100% cooked. I definitely don't eat it there. I uh, definitely, definitely take the risk and eat it medium at least. Like, you know, you're 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 taking a risk there because the the meat is processed, so it's gonna it could it could have germs and stuff in it. Mm -hmm. that, you know, it issue for you. Is this like a certain temperature or something? Like, how do you know? So I probably have it around 400. The lid's been up, so uh, it's not gonna. Oh, so it goes register down. Register 400. Yeah, but... good point. That's the other thing is that you're going to be opening and closing the lid so much you're really not going to get a, uh, a true temperature. So it really is about... But you want to be about 400. Out. You can do it with 400. That'd be fine, yeah. Okay. So we'll see. You said four or five minutes and then we'll put the cheese on? Yeah. About... Uh, okay. Another major thing is the hot spots in your grill. So you true. have to know where to put it. So I, I put them specifically in an area that I know are cold spots. They're going to just probably burn up if I had them in the wrong spot. All right, so flipping them over. It's looking real good. And now you're adding the cheese? Yes. But the burger is done. We're gonna go ahead and build it up. So the pickles are going to the side. You got the tomato, and then the lettuce will go on top. And then we can top it off with a little bit of a cheat, which is the tablespoon of ketchup. And dinner is served. going to be having a cup of watermelon so I'll be chopping that up now my favorite thing to do is actually freeze the watermelon so you can stick it in the freezer and then eat it like that or you can just have it fresh either way it's good All right, and that's everything for today. I'm really excited that I was able to make everything work for a patriotic 21 day fix. Thank you for joining and stay tuned because I'll be making more 21 day fix meal preps and happy holidays.